guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bell Loves Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. Why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Pineapple under the sea, square bob sponge pants. Da, 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 That's all I know. Square bob sponge pants. Okay, guys, hi, welcome to Bell's Bargains. I don't really have a song for you. My iPad is dead. I'm in a hurry, so I didn't have time to charge it to find a song to sing for you. So I found some square bob sponge pants socks. So that made me think of it. You have landed on Holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. It's right, Evingham. It's your favorite video of the week. So this is Shopping Saturday. Um, hey, if you're new to the channel, stick around because we do a lot of fun things on here. And uh, we do Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Nolly Dollar Tree. Effingham, would you like to tell them why? Good. Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a, and a quarter. That's right. Gosh, do you remember when it was only a dollar? Mm, the good old days. Anyway, it's now a dollar and a quarter. But I got to say, they get some good... Yes, you're right. There's some better... There's some mo better stuff. Now <laughs> that's a buck twenty-five. There's for sure. Okay, so I have sort of a random mixed haul here. So I think I'm gonna start with let's go to health and beauty. Mm. Okay, so nothing too exciting here, except I found the next gen salon professional dandruff shampoo. Um, this product is manufactured by Fabrique Par. I don't know. Brands International. It's made in Canada. Carmen! It's a Canadian thing. My friend Carmen, my bestie Carmen. Okay, so I got this for Marcus, but don't tell him. His beard has like the worst dandruff. What is it about beards? Anyway, so I was like, maybe you should just try some dandruff shampoo on it. So I picked him up some. So I will let you know if that works. The scent is classic clean. Classic. And clean. <laughs> I feel like, is it Clark Gable in a bottle? Because that's really classic, but handsome. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm, we're going to try that. Now, I don't see it there all the time, so we'll see. It says, helps relieve itching, dryness, and light flaking, and it's 12 fluid ounces. So for a dandruff shampoo, if it works, I think that's a pretty good price, $1.25. All right, and then I picked up a, a load of Irish Spring. Why? Because what's the, I, somebody, oh my gosh, what's the Irish Spring song? The, the, the Irish Spring, and what is the, hey Marcus, do you remember the Irish Spring song? Oh, it says, that's, that right, there was a whistle. Uh, I smell. Clean as a whistle, Irish Spring. Anyway, but I think there was a song, somebody's gonna tell me I know, or I'll Google it later. Anyway, so the reason I bought this, number one, they carry it at the Dollar Tree, and you don't see it everywhere anymore, um, but it is because if you grate this in a cheese grater and you put it where you have rodents, they don't like Irish Spring. Huh. Guess they don't want to be clean as a whistle. I can't whistle today. That's better. So I bought a ton of it because um, in our property off grid, we have rodents, obviously. We're in the middle of a forest. And so I was like, why not try it? Let's just see. Now, in the RV that we live in, we don't have any rodents, but there's other buildings, sort of, you know, sheds and stuff. And so I did this weekend because we went camping for four days. Great time, by the way. I will insert a puppy video of Jax camping. Jax, come here. Do you want to say hi to everybody? Do you want to say hi? Does Jax want to say hello? Say hello, Jax. Say hello. Can you say hello? No, the camera's up here. We have to teach you a thing or two. The camp. I know, kiss, kisses, kiss. I know, kisses. I know kisses. Okay. Anyway, Jax went camping with us, and I have the cutest um, video of him fetching his stick. He just had a ball. Oh, but word to the wise, FYI. Um, hold on. So the Irish Spring, I cleaned out a shed, and I and I cheese grated a bunch of it, and I threw it in there. So I don't know. We might as well give it a try. It's worth a try for a buck twenty-five. And I used one whole bar of soap for that. No, two for that shed. So and there's two bars in here. Jax is playing with his toys. Okay, so, so, um, what was I just going to tell you? Oh, yeah, so we're, 
a, a warning. Here's a product review for you, a Dollar Tree product review. So you know they sell the buffalo, water buffalo items in dog treats. They got bought the water buffalo ear for Jax and he loved it, but they also sell water buffalo lungs. They just are like, I mean, they're just like, I, I don't think you're related to the water buffalo. Well, yes, large animals. <laughs> Yeah, no, but they're, well, I know, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think they're a type of cow. Anyway, the water, just hold on, every hand, let me tell the story. Okay, so the water buffalo lung, I bought it for Jax, and I thought, okay, well, we'll try that. So it's real water buffalo lung, just like the ears were real water buffalo ears. He loves the ears, it's like a chew, and he just, it's, he still got it, chews on it all the time. The water buffalo lung smelled disgusting, by the way. It smells like death. Well... And, um, and so we gave it to him one day and we took him down to the local watering hole to play trivia and it opened up the water buffalo lung, gave him one and the dog went just crazy bonkers. Like he'd never been that hyper before. We had to like leave and bring him home. Like he was super hyper. I was like, huh, I wonder if it's, is it the water buffalo ear? So we tested it out and we took him camping. So the first morning got up and I'm like, here's your water buffalo ear. I mean, lung, not ear, lung. And sure enough, oh my gosh, he was running laps. It's like speed for dogs. Don't buy him unless your dog's really lethargic. So I threw the, I threw the rest of them away. I was like, no, no, number one, they smell disgusting. And number two, I don't need this little chihuahua on speed. Like literally, it is the, the upperest of uppers for a little dog. So I never did Google it to find out if there was any fact to that. I just know that that's how it worked on my dog. So letting you know. Okay, so back to um, health and beauty stuff. I found some Freeman masks and I bought these for my granddaughter. She's coming in July. So I think I already told you guys, I'm just making like little baskets full of little goodies for them that they can use either while they're here or take home with them. I can't buy them anything really big because of course they're flying, right? So, but these are amazing, these Freeman masks. So this one is called Soothing. And these just look really teenager, I think. Like, you know, like young lady. So this one is Soothing Gel Mask. It's watermelon and aloe. And I think a buck 25 is good for these. This is French pink clay peel off mask, pore clearing. Okay, clear your pores. And then this one is deep clearing Manuka honey and tea tree oil clay mask cleanser. Oh, this one is a cleanser, clay mask and cleanser. That's cool. Instantly deep cleaves and absorbs oil without over drying. Dual action mask. And then this one is sweet tea and lemon. So these two are like the peel off mask, the sweet tea and lemon and the watermelon. And then the other two are clay masks. One of them is a dual cleanser, this one is. Okay, so they have Freeman there a lot right now. I, I don't know if that's like long term, but it is there a lot. Okay, and then um, toothpaste just because. So this is the one that I like, the 3D white. Um, so when I see it, I usually get it and we needed toothpaste, so I was like, just gonna get four of them because it was 15% more. So it's not the super big tubes that you can get in the other kind, but it's the 3D radiant white. And so that's the kind that I like to keep these pearly whites. <laughs> so I get those. And then um, just a couple of things in the makeup sort of aisle. So I grabbed these for little Scarlet because she loves to put on little Scarlet. She's 16. Yeah, she loves to put on nails. Oh, Marcus just looked it up. Water buffalo lungs is canine caviar. Yeah, it, it, that must be the right? Why does it make him hyper? Nobody's mentioning that because that's totally what it did to him. Okay, maybe he was just so happy he was getting caviar. <laughs> He's just like, woohoo! I got a treat. Okay. Anyway, so I grabbed these for her. I just thought they were really pretty. They were glittery, and she loves to put on. Um, nails and I thought so I'll get her for someone when she's here and then um, this is a blemish extractor I also got this for Scarlet teenager need I say more I mean does anything more need to be said you know teenagers okay girls teenage girls especially I think so I was like oh I had one of those when I was a kid so I grabbed that for her and then I found some new eyelashes and these are called Andrea Strip Lashes. They um, look really pretty, but they have glitter in them, like an eyeliner glitter. I don't know if you can see it in there. Okay, well anyway, this one has like a blue 
and this one has like a black. So I actually was hoping that when Scarlet was here, we could have a little fun putting some eyelashes on. And this one does not have, does it have the glitter eyeliner on this one? I don't think this one does. So I got like one black eyeliner glitter. This one has blue and this one has nothing. But these are Andrew's strip lashes. So these are apply adhesive. Apply a thin line of adhesive along the band. So put it onto the band and then put it on. And these are distributed by, it's so small, you guys, I cannot read this. So I don't know who it's by. But I feel like I know the name Andrea, right? Mm, maybe I'm crazy. Well, anyway, I just thought they were really cool because they had that in there. So I was like, yeah, I'll grab them. And then this is for me, not seen this before, but it's Precision Facial Razor. You know, what is it with the peach fuzz at this age? I'm not, I'm like, what? Like, why? Anybody? I know you're all relating with me. I know right now all you women are going, oh my gosh, yes, yeah. No, 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 no. You don't have peach fuzz. No, you don't. Effingham, Effingham, you don't. No, you don't relate. Don't even, don't start. You don't relate. You don't have peach fuzz. Okay, so I hadn't seen this before, so I thought that was kind of a cool product, mostly because this is so good for traveling, right? Throw one in your traveler, and when you're in that hotel mirror, you're like, wait, I did not see that when I was at home. Don't you love that? But like, I didn't see it. Now I see it, and you're like, what? If you only had a facial razor in your travel stuff, I will. Okay, so I grabbed those. And then lastly, from the Health and Beauty, I grabbed some ibuprofen because Marcus goes through this like it's candy because of his knee and all that right now. So um, anyway, that's okay. So I buy, I don't know. I just stick it everywhere. Like there's a bottle in the car, a bottle in my purse, like that kind of stuff. Okay, another product review. Are you guys ready? So I have been buying always patty liners. Um, I mean, for a long time now, I think ever since I've been doing the channel. And then I found their cotton ones. They're 100% organic or whatever they are, cotton ones. Actually, I'm gonna go get everything, hold, to show you guys. So public service announcement, right? So always is what I always buy, <laughs> dun dun dun, right? And um, so there's 20 liners in here, but then I found these and there's 18 in here and these are by Be Pure and they're the organic cotton. Loved these because these are so plasticky. Who wants plastic but uh -huh. So and was like, oh, 100% pure cotton. So that sounds nice. Like, like cotton underwear is so much better than nylon underwear, right? I mean, just especially, I live in Arizona where everything is hot. Then I see him with his squeaky toy, with his teddy bear, his little teddy bear. You are making that thing squeak. All right, and then I found the poise. And I was like, all right, so there are only eight liners in here, but it says 10 times drier. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I'm telling you, much better, like much better. So I will be buying the poise from now on. Um, and there you go. Speaking of poise, there's this comedian, you guys. Oh my gosh. Her name is Leanne Morgan, and she's hysterical. Marks is poising, posing, poising oh, in the nice. hallway. It's not the same thing, honey. Anyway, Leanne Morgan is absolutely hysterical. Like, you better be wearing your poise if you ever watch her. How many of you know who Leanne Morgan is? And if not, you need to Google her on YouTube because she is so funny. You will, you will need these before you watch her. She has a Netflix special on right now. Clean humor, ladies. Clean, clean, clean humor. And so hysterical. And you will all relate. Anyway, so, um, and she's from Tennessee. So she's got that funny southern accent, which makes us all. Knoxville. Tennessee. All right, let's move along. So that was all the stuff in the health and beauty, and that was my public service announcement for your, your hoo-ha. Okay. So next, in the baby aisle, ironically, I found something new, and um, I have that brand new um, great-grandson, and so I'm picking up little things because I'm going to go see him in July, and I thought these were super cool. Now, this is a brand. This is Bogenhead Pass-A-Grip. Um, they're just really cool and trendy looking, of course. And it's, you know, you clip it on to hold their pacifier. But these are not a buck twenty-five. I don't know how much they are normally. Sharon, look that up. Bogenhead. Um, and so you know that this is a company that either went out or something. I don't know. It's definitely not a Dollar Tree item. Um, but they had them there. And so I just grabbed two colors that I thought were sort of boyish and cool. So they had some other ones there. If you find them, I would say that these are most definitely not a normal product that they have there. Okay, let's move along to, what should we go to next? Uh, oh, yeah, food items, yeah. You don't need to pass fire. Seriously, Effingham. All right, so in food, nothing spectacular here, but it is a repeat buy for me, and if you all ever watch our Foodie Fun Days, 
and Marcus and I do, and we need to do another one here soon, um, you will see that uh, we buy, if we buy it there and it's good, we rebuy. So their peanut butter honey, peanut butter spread honey is really good. Now, uh, peanut butter is really good for you, honey. Mm. So I, yeah, I guess honey is good for you, but we're trying to diet. So this isn't something that, um, this is like more like breakfast food on a banana or something like that. So not on bread. We don't do bread. So it's not for bread. It's for apples or bananas or something like that. And then um, I found these, which are jalapeno slices. Yum, yum, yum. Marcus loves jalapenos. And so um, I was like, well, that sounds, that's like easy. You don't have to cut them up. Breckenridge jalapeno slices. So here's the thing. Something like this is good, right? It's calories are five calories for 18 pieces, you know, and it's a vegetable, albeit hot. But just to cut these up and stir fry it into some scrambled eggs and put a little salsa on top, you have like some good flavor and you're not just killing yourself with calories and bad stuff. Okay, so grabbed two bottles of those actually. And then I found the Blueberry Muffin Super Coffee. Have I hauled this for you guys before? I'm not sure. But um, I, I, I think I've hauled it before. Anyway, it's good. It definitely tastes like blueberry. It's got a blueberry flavor to it. But right now is the summertime. So for us, iced coffee in the morning is a really good thing. So this is 80 calories in the one bottle, but what we do is we'll make coffee and split it between two regular coffees and to give it just that little hint of flavor. It's kind of like our take on Starbucks here at this house. So, and it works great, you guys. And then we're not getting a ton of calories and we're still getting a little treat in that coffee and we try and make it iced coffee right now because it's so hot. All right, so that was it for food. Are we shocked? Because normally I get more. Although I did buy storage bags. I bought some sandwich bags. Okay, so food storage, not food. And I do buy a lot of my um, household supplies in the, at the Dollar Tree. You guys all know that. Okay, let's go down the man aisle, shall we? Ah, that, there's no cow aisle. I'm sorry. I know. Maybe someday, but not right now. Okay, down the man aisle, I picked up a globe light. Now, this they've had these now for a little bit. But I, suddenly I was looking at it, I was like, what am I doing, Amy? Pick that up for a Halloween decoration. What a cool, mystical, um, uh, seance, psychic, what, what do they call those? Crystal ball. <laughs> ah! So I was like, okay, and it has seven rotating colors. So I grabbed this to throw into my Halloween to make a crystal ball with. And there's so many things you could put it on a cool you know, stand and whatnot. Anyway, I'll do something fun with it. And then this is, I did not buy this for really for too much other than to show you, although I will be throwing it into the, um, into my um, baby shower decoration stuff because it's purple and black. So these are a set of neon, neon lights. I really should have gotten batteries for you guys and showed you, but it's just, for, I mean like fun for a teenager, I will probably give it to like Scarlett. But it takes, how many batteries does it take? Let's take it out and look really quickly. So there you go, it's a thing of lights, perfect for Halloween. Actually, that's probably where I'll throw it in. And it looks like it takes two um, double A's. I think double A's. Why doesn't it say so on here? Uh, yep, two double A's, it does say so on here. All right, so kind of cool, like this little um, neon set, a neon, little light thing maybe we could spell boo with it oh oh yeah you know how they give us the metal words forget it it's for halloween you know how they give us the metal words and then um and there's one that says boo let's just like you wouldn't be able to hot glue right because hot glue is going to melt this but you can certainly use like a tacky glue and clip it on and let it dry and you could light up a Halloween word like that. Mmm, for a wreath or something? Very cool. Make your own little neon sign. I don't know. It's just a thought. Okay. And then um, in the pet area, uh, this is definitely not a green briar thing. This is definitely another item that is somewhere from more expensive than a buck twenty-five, but I found it in the pet aisle. This is pet hair remover. So this is by Fur Shark, and so it's like one of these um, with great for auto carpets, upholstery, furniture, pet beds, cat towers, fabrics. So it's a four-way brush system. So basically, you get a smooth edge, and there's a large brush, a medium brush, and a small brush. So if you look on here, there's your smooth edge. Looks like your large, your medium, and your small. And you just to brush across it and pick up the fur, 
with a nice handle in the center. I loved this. I was super happy to find this. Not that little Jax sheds much, but we do have a cat. And um, the cat tree gets a little musty and not musty, furry, you know. Anyway, but look for it. Not a buck 25, guarantee you. Sharon, you can look this one up as well. And then it easily washes up. So reusable to use over and over again. So grab that, throw into the pet supplies. I guess I didn't finish the man aisle because I also have these. So recently, I have a car for traveling um, at work and I'm, it's a company car and so I have to drive it back and forth to different stores and I was like, I'm gonna throw a couple things in there to help keep it clean and also disinfect it. So disinfectant wipes and this is citrus scented multi-purpose, multi-surface cleaning wipes. So I bought these to throw into that car to help keep it clean. I mean, just like, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like cleaning the house. Not quite, but close. Okay, so let's go down to the um, aisle of socks and all that fun stuff. So, uh, random sock find. Totally random. Well, I already showed you. Square Bob sponge pants. So these are Nickelodeon, which I think we've seen Nickelodeon stuff there before. But these are really cute. So these, again, are for the grandkids when they get here. And then I found these, which are Avatar socks, also Nickelodeon. And I was like, wow, I haven't seen those before. So we have Avatar and we had SpongeBob from Nickelodeon. So I grabbed those and then I found Minions. So these are all for Scarlett and Moses when they get here, except um, one of them is for, uh, two of them are for my son-in-law. Okay, and then I found, I wanna send this to my grandson who just had the baby because he's like a video nut, but he's only getting baby stuff. That's it. Everything for you is done. It's only baby stuff now. <laughs> so this is, yeah, I'm a player and I don't want to be a player anymore. No more playing. Like no more. <laughs> okay. So, um, but so I think I'll give it to my grandson. And I mean, my son-in-law. Yeah, I'm a player. <laughs> That's just funny. And then these. Bud Weiser. Bud Weiser socks. Keep your eye out. Father's Day is coming. You know, get him a pair of Budweiser socks and give it to him with a six-pack of Bud. I mean, that's such a great little gift for a son-in-law or for whoever. So, it's basically what I'm going to do because I'm not going to send him a Father's Day gift. He's going to be here in July. So, we're going to do, like, celebrate everything all at once. So, um, anyway, I just thought, like, hey, Budweiser socks. How cool is that? So, keep your eye out. And that's, you know, it's Budweiser. I mean, it's distributed by anheuser Bush. Why are they there? Anyway. Budweiser socks have to be more than a buck twenty-five. Come on, okay. And then um, down the the book aisle, I picked up two things. Now this is a repeat pickup for me. It's how to make your baby an internet star, an internet celebrity. So as a joke, I'm giving this to my sister-in-law who's um, who's doing the baby shower for. Her. I just thought it'd be funny. So this was twelve ninety-five originally, and it's just like it's so funny. It's you know. Like, just all these things to make your baby an internet star. Would they work? I don't know. So, I'm going to throw that in my basket of goodies for her. And then, also, this is a journal, but it was from Target. 20% off. This journal was $15 originally, and I got it for a buck twenty-five. So, this is things are what you make of them. Every day is a chance to create something new for yourself. Put down your phone and pick up a pencil. Give yourself some space. The internet will still be there. Start with one page at a time and you'll be surprised at just how much you can create. So each of the 365 prompts in this book will encourage you to draw, write, list, reflect, and share. I mean, this could be good for anybody, but I feel it's very teenagery. So I'm thinking of Scarlet. So it's one page at a time. Um, so for instance, it says, tape a small photo or image here, then try to copy it below. Okay, so it's like just creative things to do every day. Quietly do good for others. Give to someone on the street. Leave an extra large tip. Don't tell anyone. No ego boost. Just note the date below. So just fun things. Care package. Fill this box with lots of good stuff. Um, I mean, it just, it, I think it is really good for teenagers. Don't forget that tomorrow is literally just one day away. Write some terrible advice, then practice ignoring it. Okay. So, I mean, kind of a cute little journal idea, but it's called One Page at a Time, A Daily Creative Companion. I'm trying to take the, the Target sticker off, but from Target. So why is it at Dollar Tree, you guys? Why? I don't know. 
But I need to get the Target sticker off because these little stickers they put on the front of their books are horrible. I'll do that after I'm done talking to you guys. All right, we have one more category left and it is my favorite. It is crafts and craft supplies. So I'm just gonna, have you noticed the array of colors behind me here? I feel like Vanna White. Also, FYI, before we get into that, if you'll notice everything behind me, I am doing coastal decor right now. And all of these items are in my last few weeks of videos on coastal decor. As soon as I'm done going through my coastal stuff, I will be um, selling it on Marketplace, the whole vignette. But if you are interested in any things that you see back there, by the way, this one, I don't know if I've seen, if you'll see it in the video yet or not. I think you will have. Anyway, it's really incredibly beautiful. I love that. That's probably one of my favorite, this little lamp over here that I made. Okay, so let's get back into the craft supplies that I purchased. So the, uh, acryl the Acryology, which I like their Acryology paints. I really like them. I know they're not Waterford, Mayford. What is the ones everybody buys at Walmart? I can't think. Anyway, they're not that. I don't buy those because I go to one store, right? One store only. And that would be which store? <laughs> Dollar Tree. You're right, Evan. You the Dollar Tree. So I walked in and this store had just stocked all of their paints. Now, here's the thing. When I had, when we had the estate sale, we got our, the thing. I had a tote full of acrylic paints from eons ago. And I, I let it go. I'm like, I'm going to start fresh. So this was great to walk in and see all these. I love acrylic paints. They're my favorite medium, actually, for paint. I mean, I, pastels or oils. I really love, I do love acrylics. So um, I was like, all right, so I'm going to buy one of each color. I will be taking a picture of this to make sure that I have all the colors. But I wanted to point this out, like, there doesn't seem to be, there was no black, there was no white. So I'm sure there's colors out there that I don't have and I will find them and get them. But there are literally like five blues, really beautiful blues though. I mean, I've got to say this one is, um, this one is called, um, Fethalo blue. I don't know how to say that. And this one is cobalt blue. And look at this, this deep blue. I mean, I've seen ocean all over. I want to do a poor one. And then there's a sky blue. And then of course a turquoise. So an array of colors. I will be making sure that I have all of the colors, but I wanted to show you those. They're the bigger bottles. Um, I like them and I was happy to find, to have walked into a store and they had just stocked them. The only thing was I ended up grabbing one of these because they did not have this in a big one, this vermilion, which is such a pumpkin color. So I did stick, snag that one, even though it was the smaller one. So this is just so you know, these are four fluid ounces and these are six. So they've upped it. They've given us two additional ounces for that 25 cents. Do the math. That would be about correct. Okay. So nice, right? All right. Now, um, there's a couple things that were new that I just grabbed because I just love them. So these two glass bottles, but can you see the texture on these? I just feel like it's so cool. Now I know a lot of people take bottles and they paint them. Great. You can. These would make incredibly cool milk glass looking ones because of the decor that's on them. They've got the little bubbles on them. They're just super, super cool. So I don't know if I will paint one. I'm not exactly sure, but I grabbed a green one and I grabbed a clear one. And I think they're really, just really, really cool. Would, by the way, would make fantastic solar light containers. Stick Some of those solar lights now, you can like put them on top and just the well, actually, on this thing over here, the solar light is actually a string of lights. Also, the cork bottles that they have that have the lights inside of them, those would be really cool in these as well. So, and they just need a little decorative, put a charm on it or something, and they think they'd be super cool. So, grab those. Love those. Then, this is brand new. Love it. It's just a galvanized bucket, like a planter. They probably call it a planter. They call it a square galley metals vase. So, yes, but it has nothing else on it. So this makes it so easy for you to take it into any decor. I kind of want to do something coastal with it because I have a ton of seashells and I wanted to do one where I, I had an idea as how to attach seashells to galvanize. I had an idea about this. So I will probably do that. I'm hoping I will do that. Um, anyway, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, so these were new, hadn't seen them before, grabbed only one. I don't need to be grabbing five or six of anything. This is a repeat buy, and when I bought it, I was like, dang it, I should have bought four, so I did exactly that. These are amazing. I love these vases. They look like faux wood. They look like faux um, distressed wood. So I'm gonna do a four planter, and inside of here, I'm going to use the brand new, there are the colored wood die cuts, or MDF die cuts, 
in the leaves, which I thought were super pretty. So I'm gonna do one inside of each one of these to make a cute little planter. I think it's gonna look really adorable. Um, and if I had time to do it at the end of this video, I would, I just don't. We are leaving for a week in the morning, so I'm pre-doing a couple of videos for you. I will be gone when you see this video. I will be in Flagstaff working. So I'm getting this one done for you. Okay, just a few other things in crafts. Um, I found some floral moss and the reindeer moss. Now, the reindeer moss I love because if you look inside there, doesn't that look like sea kelp? I just feel like I could use some of this just to make some really cool. I want it, I have so many ideas. I haven't done any of them really yet, but for coastal stuff, and I'm still working through my craft supplies, right, of stuff that I had for Coastal. Um, but I have some cool ideas, and I just loved how that looks like sea kelp. But, of course, it is reindeer moss, and we use that in lots of things. Especially when you get into the spring and garden kind of stuff, right? Birdhouse with moss on top of it. We've all seen it. Um, I grabbed one of the rub-on transfers. I love these when I see them. I grab them, and I found one, so I grabbed it. It is just one sheet, and it looks like wood right crazy okay so um this is the floral garden wired jute cord i snagged one of these this seems to be a thicker cord it reminds me of what they put on around the tops of their buckets um anyway so just grabbed one of those and then i grabbed they had so many of these so i grabbed a bunch because these happen to be one of my favorite things that they brought out this year and it's the little buckets the little flower pots because these just look like little legs for things and so on and so forth so i have a container i'll be throwing them all into as part of my wood stash so stuff so they're the mini flower pots they're absolutely adorable but of course i'm using them for other things not just that so i grabbed them when i saw them also some glass bottle charms um just these little bottles i can't remember now what i wanted these for it was good at the time hmm. my ashes i don't know <laughs> like what Hate it when that happens okay so but i grabbed them for something and then just the little fences with the flowers and whatnot because i do want to do some garden um some garden crafts coming up very soon okay and then two brand new things that i've never seen before so i only grabbed one of each because i don't need them but i love this so this is a craft chalkboard ornament but it's not okay so it's a bird right but watch this are we thinking or are we thinking dollar tree so not only is it the one side, but we have two sides. And either side, I actually prefer this side. I think there's so many things that we're gonna, you know, be able to use these for. So I love it because they've double-sided it. It's a chalkboard or it's a wood bird. Love it, love it, love it, love it. I only grabbed one package and there are five pieces in here. And then the final one is, uh, is it an Explorer? Is it a Bronco? What is this? Is it a Malibu Chevy? What, hey, Marcus, are you around? What kind of car is this? You'll know, he'll know instantaneously. He'll probably give me the year even. Like what year is it? Uh, well, you just bought it, so it must be a 2023 model. No, but what kind of car is it? Um, I'm gonna say it's some sort of a sedan, like a van. Doesn't it look kind of like a Bronco or something? Uh, like a safari car? A Chevy Malibu wagon? A Woody. A Woody. Hey, Woody. <laughs> it's a Woody made out of wood. Okay, whatever. You failed me, but I still like you. Um, all right, so anyway, so I only grabbed one of these, but I thought it would be really fun if you're into like doing animal prints or anything like that. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to make this like an animal and make this part that would normally be, well, actually, you could use the wood grain rub on transfers. Bop. Good idea also. But for some reason, I, I was thinking safari when I saw this. And I was like, it would be kind of cute to put like little wood animal prints on these. And I, maybe that's bad. Probably bad. Probably stupid. What am I thinking? Okay, but I only grabbed one. So it'll go into my stash. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it right now. But now all I'm thinking about is like rubbing on the wood. Okay. But then what would I do with it? Father's Day. is. That, I mean, so I'm not sure where this came from. Okay. It's not the truck. That's all I can tell you. All right, guys, so that's it, um, everybody. Oh, my gosh. So if you want to hear a little details, I'll tell you some more. For those of you that don't want to stick around and hear anything about my personal life, bye-bye now. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Okay, by the way, that craft up there is so cool. Mm. Okay, so uh, so every, we went camping. We did four days of camping, and it was so much fun, and we worked super, super hard. We had a great time. 
Jax had an amazing time. It was really fun to take him out into into nature, and there was a big snake, and then I was like, ah, <laughs> come here, Jax. Um, this big bull, bull, what do they call them, bullhead snake? Uh, what is it? A bull snake. It was a bull snake. It was a big bull snake. Well, they look like a rattler, but they have no rattler. They have no rattle. And I was like, are we sure he just didn't lose his rattle? <laughs> but he didn't. He was not a rattler. He was a bull snake. Um, and we're at pretty high elevation, so there's not a lot of snake sightings, even though this is Arizona. Um, we don't get a lot of snake sightings. But he had just had a great time. We had such a fun time at the camp um, fires every night. And we saw the launching of the latest Elon Musk satellites. Have any of you seen that in the sky? It is phenomenal to see. There was 20 of one of them lined up, and it's just like this, it's like, it's this choo-choo train of satellites, or Santa in this reindeer. It looks kind of like that, and that's what my sister-in-law said, and it did. Um, anyway, so it was a good time, and we got a lot done up there. It's that time of year, and we love to go up there and get projects done, and so we're working on our old trailer that we used to sleep in when we went up there. We are gutting it and making it a storage for all of my Dollar Tree stuff. Not really. <laughs> That is funny. Um, but we're making it storage because we store a lot of things up there. Like, you know, you winter clothing when, you know, because you, cause inside the RV there's not much space. And also food storage and stuff like that. So, okay. So we did that and Jax had a great time. So I'll insert that video of Jax. But one more thing, you guys, and I'm going to share this a couple of times on a couple of videos. My grandson, Moses, who's going to be here in July. I'm sure he'll do a video or two with me, Scarlett and Moses will. So Moses and his little neighbor friends have started... Well, the one girl, Sophia, is the daughter of the neighbors, Moses' neighbors, and they started a little movie production thing on YouTube. So I'm going to link that below. Now, they've done three movies. It's AWSM, which is Awesome Films. AWSM, Awesome Films. And um, they, but they did one called Operation the Musical. Oh my gosh, you guys, you're gonna watch it and be like, that is definitely Amy's grandson. So. Please watch it. They don't have comments on, so you can't leave a comment. Or they didn't. Maybe they will have now. But you can't leave a comment. But you can certainly give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. I mean, this is... I'm super impressed with this young... young she's like 9 or 10. She's so little. And like, this is... She's doing it. She's doing this all on her own. She films it on her iPad and makes the movies. And, of course, Moses is in all of them with her brothers because he lives right there. It's super adorable. So I'll link that down below. So here's going to see a video of Jax, and don't forget to go to the link down below and see Moses starring in Operation the Musical. You'll laugh out loud. All right, everybody, have a great day, great week, a great life. And as always, from your singing crafty crafter, go find SpongeBob SquarePants socks. Happy hunting. I can't, I was going to try and sing it. I can't even think of how's it go. Who lives in a pineapple at Dollar Tree? <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree, guys. We'll see you back here next time. Thanks for watching. I love you, besties. Bye. Do you want to go? Jax, you want to go get your stick? Jax, Jax, ready? Get your stick. Good boy. Good boy. Bring it back. 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 Up here. Up here. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Such a good boy.